less of a tip because I can't teach you all the things that I um, did to create this in a few minutes. But what I wanted to sort of show you is how if you have a fairly broad knowledge of different Excel skills, then you can bring them together to create some really clever and innovative solutions. So here I have a pivot table and I've hidden most of the columns so that I am just showing the total but I've inserted some spark lines that pick up the trend and then I just hide it. The other thing I've done is I've linked a slicer to the pivot table so it's actually not linked to this pivot table it's linked to this chart which is a pivot chart so as I click on a category I see the breakdown of that category in my chart and I've also highlighted the selected category with some conditional formatting. So, you know, there's a load of different things there that I've done to create an interactive report. It doesn't even need to be a dashboard. It's just something small that, you know, you might need to present or give to a management um, manager for his department to sort of help him understand what's going on with, within his own department. He can interact with it. And I'll, you know, I've, I've hidden the border on the slicer and I've aligned it so it looks like it's aligned to this um, or it's part of this pivot chart. But there's a whole load of different techniques there in, in, one, in one file. So you know, that's the thing with the dashboard courses. I, I teach all these different things. You can bring them together in any way you want to create innovative solutions when you have the skills. So that's my kind of tip. But that is available on my blog, and I can share the link with you, and people can download the file. And I actually had quite a few people download the file and then try and implement it themselves. So that was really cool. So that is my tip. Done. Awesome. Awesome. Internet applause, Sylvia. <laughs> Again.